Here we go with part four of social psychology. We're doing social relations today. So I left the word off here. The first thing I want to actually talk about is prejudice. Prejudice is a combination of three things. Beliefs, actions, and emotions. So you have to have these three things here in order to be prejudiced. Um, if it's just a belief, it's a stereotype. And if it's just actions, it's discrimination. So actions are discrimination, beliefs are stereotype. But if you get a combination of all these three, then this is uh, what we describe as prejudice. An example would be um, um, overweight or obese people. If you believe that o obese people are gluttonous, and you feel dislike for obese people, and then you treat obese people with contempt or badly, that would be an example of prejudice. So you have to have those three things together in order for prejudice to occur. There we go. Perfect. Um, but next up is social inequalities. And social inequalities is when one group has uh, more than another, and what happens is, is that group tends to justify those reasons um, for the reason why they have more than the other. So they got to have a reason, right? We talked about cognitive dissonance, how our actions have to match up with our beliefs. And if we have something more than somebody else, we have this, uh, we need to have some reason. Why are we better off than somebody else is, right? We have to have a reason for that because everything has to make sense in the world because um, we're all just human beings, right? And so an example would be us, uh, obviously with slavery. Why did the masters of the slaves have more than the slaves, and they had created this belief system that's because these slaves were lazy or not as smart, etc. So social inequalities always find a reason to justify the reason that they have more than the others. Okay, so then we have these things called in-group and out-group. The in-group, so remember, historically, evolutionary people, as they developed, as we, you know, when mankind kind of developed, we needed a, to be in groups, right? We're a social animal. We've talked about this before. And... Uh, it was better historically to be in groups because you can fend off invaders when you have more groups and you can kind of survive as the better outcome. And so you develop a liking or a um, kind of a interest in your own group, which is called your in-group, and then everybody else is kind of the out-group. And so it kind of turns into an us versus them um, idea. And so the in-group is the one you belong to, and the out-group is everybody else, and it's usually us versus them. And we, we see this a lot um, in society at large, and you develop this thing called this in-group bias, where your group is better than the um, own group. And when you favor your own group, you create this us versus them um, philosophy, and it, and it can be uh, destructive to, to the social fabric of society, as it were. Okay? So... In group, out group, these things can be destructive. That's that's what helps lead to what we just talked about with that prejudice. All right, a couple more things to talk about. Um, the scapegoat theory. So the scapegoat theory is when something goes wrong, we need to have, find a reason or someone to blame for the anger that we feel inside. So for instance, after 9-11, when the, the Twin Towers, the, the planes crashed into the Twin Towers, we had to find a reason as as Americans or as somebody to figure out why did that happen, who can we blame, right? So it quickly turned into either let's blame all Muslims or let's find Osama bin Laden and get his head quickly in this, and right, this is why we invaded Afghanistan so quickly because we have to blame somebody for all this tragedy. And scapegoat theory is this idea that you need to find someone to blame to release your own anger. So the theory is you got to find someone to blame or else your anger is going to build up and you're going to self-destruct inside. A couple more before we're done here is the other race effect. This one's actually got three different names. So on the AP exam, you might see it in three different ways. Other race effect, the own race bias, or the cross race effect. And basically what that means is that you're so kind of uh, in tune with your own group, right? We just talked about the groups or your own race that you can very easily tell your own race apart when you're seeing them like physically or if you're looking at a picture, you can see the differences between people's faces. But when you're looking at an other group, they all look the same. And there's been numerous studies to show like identifying faces and like when you see, and you've probably done this before without even realizing it, and you've looked at uh, a particular ethnic group that you're not as familiar with and you would think to yourself, man, they look very similar, right? This would be this idea of other race effect or the own race bias or the cross race effect that the other people kind of all look the same and you can easily, you're much different when you uh, look around. And finally would be 
Oops. Finally, the last uh, term is the just world phenomenon. And the just world phenomenon, one moment. So the just world phenomenon is this idea that um, good is rewarded. So right, good is rewarded and evil is punished, right? And so we, by saying that, we create this just world and stuff makes sense, right? As we've been talking about all along. Everything, all, all this social prejudice and whatnot is making sense of the world, really. Um, and it can be a, a bad way of making sense of the world, but it's making sense of the world nonetheless. And so when we say that, you know, evil gets punished and it's the other groups are being bad and they're being evil, so that's why they're being punished or that's why they're not being um, given as much... Um, either like financial advantage as you are, it's because of the just world phenomenon, that your group might be good and their group might be evil. Um, so that's uh, all we've got here for social relations. Thanks.